dad with me today. Say hello, dad. Hiya. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we've got some pasture. So, not been pasture for a while. Just over there used to be an old coach house. So, we're hoping maybe some tokens, coinage, who knows. Let's give it a go, shall we? See what we can find. First signal. We have a coin, and it's a George V, George V penny, not bad Nick, looks like it says 1915 on there, alrighty, it's a good start. Alright, my dad just flung this over to me, look what he's found, it looks like a Chinese coin, see that? Chinese is it? Japanese? That is awesome. I've heard about these, I mean, in the Americas, they find these quite a lot. I uh, don't hear about them being found an awful lot in the UK, but at the moment in the field, I'm guessing that is a Chinese coin from, I think, 1800s. Yeah, all right, we'll uh, have to uh, ask Facebook, see if anybody knows exactly what that is. Fantastic, good start. Sounds a bit messy. Hey up, hold up, just showing uh, the camera what you just found, it's like a bit of silver yeah. off of a cane or a uh, maybe a, a smoking pipe, so I'm just going to unfold that and I'll be right back. There you go, very pretty, there's some markings there, something NW, and there's a stamp, I don't think I can see a lion, I don't know if you can see that, I don't want to get too close because, uh, yeah. There you go, nice little bit of silver anyway. Silver, silver. Right, next one for me. It looks like a coin or a button. Let's hope coin. Oh, harness ring. Yeah, pesky little things. Find loads of them and I'm not always sure exactly what they were used for. Yeah, well, let's keep going. I've just put the soil back now, but it was right under the surface. It's a scout, I think, and it still hinges. Awesome. Yeah, I bet the landowner's going to love that. So we, uh, we do give some of the uh, bits to the landowner, we let them see everything, and uh, they can keep some of the bits if they want. So I wonder if a relative dropped that years ago. Not sure on the age, but I would say 50s, 60s maybe. Cool little find. I'll uh, pop that somewhere safe, I don't want to get it broken. Uh, I think that's live. Yep. Right, let's go and uh, bash that with the spade, shall we? <laughs> Only joking. We'll dispose of that in the proper way. Alrighty. You can see the uh, imprint there. Is that another George V? George V? Nineteen nineteen, I think. Another George V penny. Um, my dad's just had another Chinese coin. Uh, well, I, I say I think it's Chinese. And uh, landowner was here, so we've just had a chat with him, and uh, we've just gave him one. So uh, he's happy. Uh, we're all intrigued as to why, uh, but possibly, you know, as it was a coaching house, maybe there was a circus or something that came through, and maybe they had Chinese people who were part of that circus. I don't know. I'm just being very. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, maybe somebody else can tell us why we see some of these Chinese coins in in the UK. Well, uh, during in the mid 1800s, trade commerce. I know circuses came through. But who knows? Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, I've just found one as well. That's three now. One for me, one for my dad, and one for the landowner. Woo! I need to find out why in the middle of uh, this field these are here. Who knows? Number four. Awesome, this one came up at 74. What are they? Oh yes, am I gonna get a imprint? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, we like you. So four so far.
Mmm, I'm loving them though because I've never found any and I love this kind of history. Might not be old, but that's what we do it. Ooh. These coins are popping up in the middle of the UK. For what reason? Why? That's pretty cool. So I'll have to do some investigation on these. Right, my dad's just found this. Hello. Hello. Who knows? Yeah, the landowners have turned up. Um, yeah, it looks like, it looks like it's a little pin badge with LO on there. So uh, we are in the Shire of Leicestershire today, so you never know. Hmm. Any ideas though, please let us know, because that's a bit faint around the outside for us to actually tell what that is. But yeah, please drop a comment below. Thank you. Just found another. So we won't keep showing you these. Um, I think you get the idea, but we'll, we'll get them all in the roundup so you can see how many we find. But so far, that's five now five so yeah we'll try to figure out where and when i doubt we'll find out who lost these but there you go let's crack it on this was deep i made a right mess but fortunately it's past you, so it'll go down nice and neat give me 92 absolute chunk all right okay give me a sec <laughs> all right. looks like we have Cartwheel, no. We've got a token of some kind. Is that a house or something there? Very worn. Let's give that a clean, one sec. Right, it's very worn. Uh, it looks, it's about the size of a cartwheel penny. And it looks, oh, I keep dropping everything today. It looks like <laughs> Overseers of the Poor or a Birmingham, I think it's a Birmingham. Workhouse token for about 1810, something like that. No idea. But yeah, I'll give that a clean up and hopefully we'll get a bit more off that. Right, we'll uh, let you know in the roundup. Right, my dad's just found this. Thought it was a dog tag at first, but we're not sure now. It says CUT, C U T T, 6, Satchville Street, Burnley. So what is that then, eh? We don't know. Right. We'll find out later. Right, there's something in here. It was uh, about six inches deep. Coming in at 85 it was. Let's have a look. Let's see. Kind of hoping. It's another one of those Chinese coins. And it's a button. Wow, that gave a really good signal. Oh well, in the bag it goes. Yeah, George V, yeah. My dad just found one. Nope. Two. George oh. V's. Looks like the half pennies, but yeah, separating them might be difficult. You know what? We'll leave them like that. Yeah, two stuck together. Hoard. Date wise, I don't know, probably 1918 ish, something like that. That's pretty cool though. Let me live dig. So we've got an 82. So much easier doing live digs on pasture. Everything stays in place. Right, here we go. Just dug a light switch, some bolts. So, <laughs> butt plug. <laughs> uh, we have another Georgia fifth penny. Although it's got some corrosion. Is there any more in here? No. It's got some corrosion, which looks like it might have been against another coin, but clearly not. That one's seen better days. George the fifth penny again. Um, 1920. Yeah. Never know, I might be able to get that. That rubbish off, but you never know. All right, next up, button. We have found these before, and we only seem to find them in this area. But we still don't know who WCR. Okay, there's some toilet jokes, I'm sure. Was it toilet humour about to come out? But yeah, uh, toilet club. club. We're not we're not sure what this <laughs> what this is. But if anybody knows who WCR, please do let us know because it's really intriguing us. Hey up! My dad's just found the first Victorian coin today. A little half penny, eighteen sixty nine. Young head. Yeah, young bun head. Yeah. Yeah, not in bad nick. 
It was nice to see you, Vicky. It's always a pleasure. We're just debating my dad. I don't think he can walk in a straight line. He's got one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> Rick has him on his line now. Anyway, this is what I've just found. Straight after dad's Victorian, I've just found an 1896 uh, Victorian penny. And uh, she's got a veil on, so yeah, she's mourning the death of her husband. There you go. It's a good nick as well. Happy days. Right, my dad's just found another. I think we're uh, we've kind of moving to a Victorian hotspot. So there's another penny, very warm. So my dad's just found that one, 1862. And then I've just found this. Oh. I thought it was going to be another Vicky, but I don't know what that is. It's very toasted. Oh, that's at it. If I had to say anything, that's going to be a, a Georgian coin. Let's get the mud off it and see if we can see anything, you know, a bust or anything like that. One sec. Right, your guess is as good as mine. It looks like it's a William the Third half penny, if I'll be honest. Got a bit of a fat head. You can just see that a curved nose. And looks like there's a bit of a ponytail going on. So that would put it into about 1696-97 date. Not bad, not bad at all. Check this out. I've just flicked the plug and it's just staring at me. What is that? Ooh. Yeah, exactly, Dad. Jetton. Oh, yeah, beauty, what is that? What is that? Oh, that looks... Different. Okay, let me get that cleaned up. One sec, guys. All right, here we go again. Cleaned up as best as I can in the field. I don't think I get much off that anyway. A little bit worn. What is that? Do I want to be carrying that? Hmm. Druids or something? I have no idea. That looks like Arabic writing. No, I thought Jetton, but I'm not so sure now. Hmm. All right, that is a very intriguing find, and right now, no idea, and I've asked the Facebook community, so, uh, yeah, we'll wait and find out. Yay! Another George V. This is a half penny. Let's have a look. 19... 1919. Um, yeah, so the landowner's just come out, and uh, with his family and his uh, granddaughters, and uh, so we've just offloaded some of the Victorian coins and whatnot. Uh, she loved them, so yeah. Uh, we probably won't do the usual roundup. Uh, we'll probably just talk about the uh, the really interesting things that we found and see if we've got some dates and whatnot, like that, uh, like those Chinese coins and that pentagram coin, whatever it is. But anyway, yeah. So that's another George V coin. My dad's just found one as well. But like I say, we have offloaded some of these coins to uh, the grandkids, so we find lots of these anyway and it's also nice to give something back to the landowners so yeah coolio well, hey silver for me pop straight out in fact actually i think i can see and it was in there can you tell <laughs> from that you know my dad's just has got a vicky no oh, you got a coin spill victorians i got a george the fifth I think that's a sixpence. Yeah, sixpence. What date we got? 1920. So look what you got. So a little wander over. So I've just found that. I'll put that in the bag. And you have found... In the same hole? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hmm. That's 1917. Oh, that one's had it. Oh, cool. Let's crack on, shall we? Happy days. That's interesting. So, this half was the silver sixpence. My dad's just gone back to the hole he's found those two coins in and he's found another. Uh, I have just scanned the hole and next to the silver sixpence, I've got a signal in here. So, let's give it a quick. 1912, what was that, uh, George V? Yeah. What, you got a penny or? Well done. Oh, guess what I got? 
a bit of lead. Never mind. 88. Looks battered. And it is absolutely toasted. That is proper toasted. There is nothing, nothing on there. Well, in the bag it goes then. All right. Ninety-one, ninety-two. So, I shall do one proper full live dig today. I'm not going to do loads. So I don't want to make you dizzy. Here we go. Let's have a look, shall we? All right, soon. Still in the hole apparently. Got some bugs. Go on, buggy, off you go. Grubby grub grubs. I'll put him back in a sec. Let's have a look. It's all deep then. Just off to the top bit. Don't want to scratch it if it's uh, anything good. Okay, okay. Still digging. Still digging here. Yeah. It's deep. Wow. I'm still going. And there you go guys, that's why we hate doing live digs. What on earth is that? Uh, some sort of weight. I'll tell you what that is. Some sort of weight, go on, what do you think that is? You're on camera. <laughs> it looks like a clock pendulum weight. Clock pendulum weight, a pendulum weight. Yeah. I thought it looked like Either way, to me, that's uh, a weight. <coughs> Scrapbook it, scrapbook it all day long. Right, my dad just found a little loom weight. It's very crude, so I probably say that's medieval. I've got one, two, and a third hole uh, to dig. Uh, the horse was in the way, so I went round him because he didn't want to move, which is fair enough. And then after I went round him, he moved. So I've gone back to retrace steps, and he was covering three signals. So I'm going to go and dig them. Off we go. Right then, one, two. Well, 81 in here, so I've dug the signal. Somewhere in there. This one was giving me 73. Somewhere in there. Right, let's do this one first. So I've had a couple of coin spills in this field now. I'm hoping this is a coin spill as well. Ooh. We have been finding a lot more uh, Victorian coins and a couple of George V's but we've not filmed everything because you get a bit bored of that. I can hear something. Ah, oh, lead. Okay, let's hope the next hole is a bit better. We'll fill that in a sec. Seen it. More lead. Urgh. Right, we're nearing the end of the day. I've just had another coin, literally just in there, and then there's another signal here. So let's have a look. I'm hoping pocket spill. Let's have a look. Okay. Still going. Oh, I don't like when you do that. 
that now. Ha! Who is that? That's Edward, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit, a bit grimy. That's an Edward. So it'd be about 1903. And then just after him, George V. Not bad. And ooh, again, my uh, dad's just come over and he has found a Victoria threepence. So look. So oh, the back, back of it's quite nice. 1891. Yeah, that's uh, really nice. Right. Yeah, right. Let's put that in the bag and off we go.